Okay, spawn location wise, it's gonna be patient psychologist, entomologist, and the mercenary here. We're gonna be seeing, we're gonna be seeing lizard here. Lizard wouldn't be too bad, I guess, in this sense as well, especially after his buffs. I'd say lizard wouldn't actually be too bad. Lizard would be brilliant in a sense, you know, lizard, yeah, actually, you know what, lizard would be brilliant in a sense. But even with that on mind, um, coming from lizard side, really chasing after Ento may be the better idea instead of a psycho job, but you can definitely go after a psycho who's in church as well as a lizard. At least it isn't a lawyer who can vault fast and then mind game you all the way around, but even with that on mind here as well, it is currently 2-0 to AVG, but I guess at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's still a fun tourney. Okay. Moving on towards the game here, we are going to be able to see Lizard here. Gonna be able to get, perform the first jump immediately towards two story, but it does seem like our psycho is gonna be able to vault over that window immediately get that window speed boost. Then, then it is gonna be confined space detention here with Hunter's Instinct announcement, um control freak and burst circuit. But of course, even with that on um, mind here, uh, all survivors are currently rotating as much as they can. It seems like Psycho here will be the initial chase. That's going to be a brilliant jump down and Psycho getting the very first hit here. Very nicely done by 72S of course, but um, Psycho is someone who can tank 3 hits, so that's a little bit of an issue. We are going to be able to get the peepers down here immediately. Now, no blink peepers. Peepers seems like it's okay. With 78, 50, uh, a little bit of a slow vault, we are going to be able to get at the vault beautifully done beautifully done but i guess the bees there is kind of useless now we are going to be able to get a little bit of pushback right here allowing cycle to rotate a little bit further away but bees only got one hit right there so a bit unfortunate from 72's s's side but um for cycle right there sally wasn't really looking back if we double backed in that situation there immediately from the cycle well if she double backed i guess uh it would have been brilliant but we're going to be able to get the vault over the pallet right there seems like a little bit of a slow vault there for me maybe it's because it's because it's psychologist but anyways getting the next pallet down this is quite a large area to be playing mind games and i won't lie about that but we're basically just waiting for the jump here initially from lizard but that's gonna be terry shock down there immediately very nicely done here by 72s that's a very brilliant lizard of course but even with that in mind ooh, basement is nearby though basement my friend but ento is in basement but ento doesn't have bees uh, if Anto didn't, if, if, if 72S decides to go for basement, I feel like he could have went for it, but he knows that Ento is in shock, so he's a bit worried about the bees, so that's also very fair. Now, we're gonna need a double rescue situation here, Entomologist can definitely long range support this harass, but even with that in mind here, this rescue is gonna be quite crucial, cause we're gonna be, oh, wait a second, oh, wait a second, that was not the best but we did manage to get the body block there thankfully max person is here being able to utilize on towards our lizard lizard is going to be able to double jump chip to jump immediately towards the other side and there goes down psychologist very nicely done by lizard very 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 nicely done by lizard it's currently three cypher machines done but that's really all what we need in this situation though from lizard side because he's been performing really well right now as well so that's brilliant um hmm what are we missing? I guess we are... Oh, my back hurts, sorry. My back pain for some reason, I slept wrong. Uh, we have Entomologist coming in to rescue. XMM as well. Um, I mean... I mean, double support situation here isn't bad, but of course, we do still need to get the last cypher machine done here. We did manage to be uh dissipation, well, disappear, I guess, uh, during that time. Oh my god, breathing is hard for me because my back hurts when I breathe, sorry. A bit out of context there, but oh, I slept the wrong way today. Mind games, mind games, we got the hit, but we did not get a double down situation right here as well, so it's a little bit unfortunate. I feel like we probably could have hit a mercy in that situation, but still a little bit worried about psychologist rebound cutting there, but so, psycho rebound. There's no way psycho can't rebound kite, to be honest with you, them to ask, but that's all. So okay, you're playing this very safe. Tying is still a tie at the end of the day. <gasps> I can't breathe. Oh my god, my heart. Oh, my whole back hurts for some reason. Um, we are gonna be able to see patient and mercy heal right here. So with those two healing, we're at least gonna be able to get a three-man endgame at full health, let's say. Um, psychologist getting the last life machine done right here. Patient being at full health. Patient needs at full health, I guess, because patient doesn't have borrowed time. We're going to be jumping immediately towards the other side of the map right here. 15 energy consumed every time. But even with that in mind here. Brilliant! Oh my god. Wow, that is brilliant. Oh my god. That is, that is genuinely speaking, wow, we are. That is brilliant. That's honestly speaking brilliant. Um, 
Oh, la 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 la, sorry, my back hurts. Oh my god. Oh, this hurts. Anyways, oh, we're gonna be able to get a jump dash right here, but sadly, the fly wood's gonna be able to cancel that immediately. We didn't get a hit right over the pilot there, which is a little bit unfortunate. That pilot is a little bit hard to hit over. So, even with that on mind here, Entomology is doing a really good containment kite right here as well. But even with this containment kite right now, we'll be going down here immediately, which is a little bit unfortunate. But even with that unfortunate side, um, the side provision is in a nutshell done, really. We do say that patient's currently decoding at 73%. Mercenary is still having three elbow pads right here and being very closely towards the chair uh for Sam to do as i guess he's just trying to look for the nearby survivors getting double down situation here on the mercy side i guess it's okay as well because mercy can't basically tank two hits at the end of the day so we're gonna be able to elbow pad in maybe we're gonna elbow pad in here immediately okay we do see the mercy we'll start still trying to play mind games here still trying to play mind games here can we get the mind games a good question Oh no, he wants a drop down hit here immediately, but Sally wasn't gonna happen because and tomorrow just it looks like she brought the 28%. No, she didn't. She just moved a little bit faster than I thought she would. Um and tomorrow just here still trying to play a lot of mind games here. Okay, we're playing around. We are going to be able to guess towards the window, which I guess is gonna be a hit down. But even with that hit down here, for Lizard performing a 90 degree angle jump here right after initial jump. Uh, okay, never mind. He okay. Um Lizard can't jump over that window. We learned something new today. Okay. So he cannot jump over that window. We learned something new today, but dungeon is also nearby as well. 72S. This dungeon is going to be quite crucial for you as well because you need to be able to get a psych ento down right here. Uh, we did not crash down there, thankfully. Save a little bit more energy, but even with that in mind, no flywheel here. Let's congratulate the tie here from the lizard moving on towards game two. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Okay, uh, game three, second half. We're going to be seeing Feaster. Okay, so it's not meta right now. Feaster coming out here against. Quite a strong team, actually. We, we are allowing like, Seer and Barmy to come out, which is a little bit of a new fist to fist. I'm sad to not see Cheerleader. I feel like if, if it was Cheerleader instead of Acro or instead of Merc, it would have been great. No, no, I don't know. It just feels great if there's a Cheerleader instead, just because you can refresh their cooldowns. You can refresh Seer cooldown, you can refresh Acro cooldown. Oh, I wanna cry. Anyways, moving on. So, I mean, this isn't too bad at the end of the day. I still can't breathe, which is an issue. But Feast coming out here is going to be very fun to see, I guess. But I was moving on towards the game. It's going to be, uh... We call him Kazuga in CM, but I guess Weirdo is going to be Weirdo here. It's going to be talking about detention with Wanted Order Control Freak. The Chair Time Control Freak and Berserker here. Okay, we decide to bring a patroller, it does seem. Uh, we're going to be chasing after the Seer first here initially. But even with that on mind here, we are still looking down here to max out Hunter's Instincts as much as we can. Seer on the other hand, getting that owl back is going to be brilliant for him. Because first chasing Seer, even if you do get a patroller bite on towards the Seer, uh, Seer can really just I will your tentacle hit so that's still okay at the end of the day now we are still trying to play mind games here as much as we can there is definitely an owl that's going to be able to come out here but it seems like for a weirdo we're going to be um focusing on something else here instead but sadly for Eli o right here he's gonna now oh, very nice dodge very brilliant dodge and uh patroller is ready yeah, patroller is ready, but survivor cipher machine is still brilliant. Though, if you just look at the cipher machine progress here, it is really fast in this situation as well. Um, Seer did a brilliant job in pulling a lot of distance. Acrobat is definitely still nearby as well, trying to give a little bit more of an assist. But Acro has to be very careful here in not getting a double hit situation here as well. Acro holding on towards the red ball there immediately. Acro, um, still trying to play as much as we can, but Seer pulling down the pot right a little bit. Unfortunately, we are going to be able to get the hit there. Sadly, um, we didn't really, we didn't really see where well we didn't really communicate on how close the feaster was but even with that on mind there to be fair with you three cypher machines already done in this situation as well so like for for the survivors this is actually a win game against a feaster with no patroller and the mercenary even though he has won the door it's still okay mercy can finish the cypher machine graveyard here mercy can perform a no damage rescue that'll be brilliant but if it's going to be a double hit on towards the mercenary here it's gonna be pretty bad. It is gonna be pretty bad. Mercy, beautiful level pad. Uh, didn't really create that much of distance towards her, but that's still a beautiful elbow pad. We are gonna be able to get a rescue there immediately, but thankfully that actually hit it towards Seer instead. So Eli did a really brilliant job on on basically body blocking for the Merc because we don't want a double down situation there as well. Mercy needs to come back to finish that cipher machine that Acrobat was doing, or is the cipher machine already done? Oh, that cypher machine is already done. Eli o taking the window right there. So doing a really good job. And... Oi! That hit it the mark. 
Whoa. Okay. Wash is this feaster game that I've not. Wash? I don't know how feaster works. I won't lie about that. But what? The tentacle just spawned in front of Merc and somehow you slapped it. What? Um, we're gonna be able to get Acrobat here immediately, which, um... I'm gonna get an Acrobat there immediately. Acrobat being able to get a slap down there. Sheesh! That is... That hurts. That actually hurts a lot, I won't lie. Uh, I guess Coffee starts Coffee Star at the end of the day. Jesus Christ almighty. That is scary. Um... Anyways, on that side, Moby will be able to take a doubling right there as well. Sally, we aren't able to get the rescue there, which is a little bit unfortunate because Patroller was ready, so there's nothing survivors can do there. But even with that on mine as well, Nettle, trying to contain here for as long as he can right here. We're still missing one full Typhoon Machine at the end of the day, but if he can contain for another 30 odd seconds, I'd say that's more than enough for a tie situation for a game there as well. But, um... Even with that on mind though, Cherescu is going to be a little bit challenging here as well, but Nello should be able to continue here for quite a bit of time as well, with a red ball being able to be activated here as well. We're going to be able to red ball out there immediately, we're going to be able to get another tentacle up here, but dropping the tentacle down, unfortunate, we are able to get the hit right over it, right before he vaulted over that window, and it's going to be a basement. Ouch, in a sense, it's a huge ouch in this sense. Um, basement feaster patroller is not something you can rescue again, sadly. That's just not a good idea. Now, we do see that the Merc wants to come in to rescue, or Merc is going to just give tonight this thing says survivor cipher machine wise. They're really only missing two 15% cipher machines, but we do know where Mercenary is. Mercy being able to vault in right here immediately as well, but we do elbow pad in a little bit of a faulty elbow pad, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess as long as we don't get a double hit situation right here, it's still fine at the end of the day. Now then, we are still trying to play mind games right here. Hiding behind a chair is definitely one of the better ideas. We did get a no damage rescue there, thankfully, but sadly, no one can actually get out right here. That's going to be a double slap here on towards the mercenary. But even with Mercy side right now, we did not get a hit, which is grand, but, uh... Oh, brilliant fireball! Brilliant fireball by Acrobat, but sadly, Acro isn't able to jump above, yeah. That's a brilliant fireball, but sadly, Acrobat isn't able to jump above the stairs there. I mean, Acro, uh, 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 like, uh, the physics, does, like, if we want to talk about physics, physics doesn't work like that, but it is what it is, what you have to do. That's, that's still a brilliant fireball there, though. Um, yeah, physics, Lamal, looking at Feaster physics, looking at, looking, looking at, uh, uh, Ripper physics? Physics, guys? The physics doesn't exist in this game, I guess. But anyways, moving on. We are going to be able to get the uh, doubling speed boost immediately out and about. There is patroller, but we are going to be mainly aiming for the... Okay, I guess that's fine. Mainly aiming for barmaid. But with the barmaid aim right there, we didn't get a tentacle slap, which is a little bit unfortunate. We're going to look for the mercenary here instead. Mercy definitely was decoding quite a bit there, so getting the mercenary back in towards basement is a little bit of a better choice. And then trying the barmaid and then using a tentacle just to look for the acrobat. But even with that on mind here as well, um... It's really just that random tentacle spawn and slapped on. How did that slap onto mercenary? Was that max presence already? Does it work like that? But Acro currently being on the other side right now. We are going to be able to find Acrobat here immediately. Acrobat, we did not jump. Oh, wait, Acrobat jumped down. Ooh. But unfortunately, can we slap? We cannot slap. Weirdo, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, late right there, but let's congratulate the formal mission here by the Feaster. Very nicely done from both sides. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and we will see you all in the next one.